Welcome to part 2 of Legacy of Duelists, where, in the last episode, we defeated Kaiba and Joe in the Heart of the Cards. Now we're taking on the ultimate Grey Maw. After his win against Seto Kaiba, but Yugi was puzzled to receive a package from Maximilian Pegasus, the creator of Duel Monsters. Inside the box was a videotape. Yugi inserted the tape into a VCR. Yugi's face, you know, Pegasus face popped on his TV screen. Greetings, little Yugi. I am Maximilian Pegasus. I heard of terribly interesting things about you. You've impressed. Your impressive defeat of Sao Kaiba intrigued me. It means so much that I decided to investigate your amazing dueling skills. Personally, right here and now. Shall we do a special duel? Suddenly, a strange arcane magic froze up time. I know it will accept Yugi. The dark dimension, were known as the Shadow Realm, a mystical place where incredible monsters be summoned and impossible, quite possible. Tell me, Yugi, do you believe there is magic in these cards? Yes, don't, don't, don't you know? You invented this game. What if I told you I didn't? Huh? In ancient times, the Egyptians called this a shadow game. Powerful pharaohs would to a mystical duels in other dimensions, just as we're doing now. But instead of cards, they battle with real monsters and real magic. The, macha the magical forces were so powerful well, that the Egyptians lost control of them and nearly destroyed their entire world. It's a good story. There's monsters can't be real. These monsters are very real and also dangerous, Yugi boy. You really are quite entertaining. The way you scowl and sneer. So different. And yet helpless, and completely ignorant of the power of the Millennium Puzzle. Sorry, power of my puzzle. But five thousand years ago, a powerful pharaoh locked the magic of the Shadow Games away in seven Millennium items. Some Millennium items are saying that's my puzzle is one of them. Yes, and there's mystical power, mystical energy locked within them. Magic that could change your life forever if you only knew how to unleash it. As the two dueled, it seemed that Pegasus knew every move Yugi was going to make before he did. Despite his disadvantage, Yugi mustered all his skills he really wanted, but Yugi ran out of time. When the time let pass, I take in the measure of your talent today, Yugi. Yugi and Moto, and next we duel, we shall play for higher stakes. I'm done with your games. Tis, tis, tis. So, you know, I'm giving you a choice, no matter, but I'm not. I also possess this one of the seven millennium items. This powerful millennium eye. Millennium eye, that's right, Yugi boy. I'll show you the true extent of its magic. I have found that. Given the proper incentive, anyone can be, play can be made to play my game. The power of the millennium eye. Lash out and stole Grandpa. Stole Yugi. Only watching horror. Yugi! Grandpa! We do it again, Yugi. Yeah. And how else will you ever reclaim your grandfather's soul? You had no choice but to join the tournament. You. Again. Send the spider to the fly. You flew into my trap. Then it's gonna stick this part. Sorry, this is my arms getting a little tired. Uh, I go. I'm gonna go second. Your move, Weevil. <laughs> my deck is filled with the most powerful bug cards. Oh, huh, I got this duel made. I need to be crystal cherry. I me draw two, three cards as long as I discard two. Then I create four. It increases. This is the attack and defense of all. Insect, beast, plant, and warrior, beast, warrior -like type monsters by 200 points. I'll activate. Burning land. This card is activated. Any field spell destroyed during each of your stamina phase, they lose 500 points. I'll set this card face down. Then I'll activate another Swords of Revealing Light card. This is for destroying Exodia. And I'll set a monster face down. Your move, Weevil. <laughs> My turn, I drop. I 
because of burning line, you lose 500 points. I said another monster face down and one turn. Okay, on the cards. Die to you. Ah. The Mammoth Graveyard, eh? We'll have to do it. I summon the Mammoth Graveyard in attack mode. I end my turn. My turn. I draw. Because of Burning Land, you lose 500 life points. I summon Man Eater Bug. Your Mammoth Graveyard is destroyed. Long with it. My move. I draw. Uh, I activate Monster Reborn. Getting back at the Mammoth. Wait. I'll take your Hercules Beetle. And set it in defense mode. But I'll sacrifice both of them. To summon Gaia, the Fierce Knight. I summon another bug. Then I'll shuffle my deck in, in your. Were you on your turn? Yes. Or move. I drop. I feel a lot more comfortable with this. Ah. I send another monster face down, ending my turn. Not doing it. A sword's revealing my on your turn. On your on your field. The beaver warrior. I send a monster in defense mode. Ending my turn. My move. I draw. Looks like I lose 500 life points. With too bad, my Hercules bug. Des destroy his monster. Not so fast, I bring mirror force. Destroying your monster. I set a monster face down. Then end my turn. The sun scope, eh? I sacrifice. My beaver warrior to bring forth it's the summon skull. Door would be so screwed right now. My move, I draw. Five hundred life points taken away from me. I'll just keep on setting monsters face down. Polymerization, eh? I end my turn. Okay, I'm really going to just put this into two parts. So please forgive me for going on to put this into two parts. The Hornet, eh? What will have to do? I summon the Hornet in attack mode. And since there's no swords of revealing light, I'm allowed to accept. Destroy his freestyle monster. I'm going to use that card's effect to bring a level 5 or, or higher insect monster from my deck to my hand. Or almost finished. Next turn you only have like 2 monsters on your field. Enough for me to destroy them with. Your move. I draw. Ah! Another 500 life points in the way. I set a monster face down. And he might hit. I draw. No, that was stupid. I attack with Gaia the Fierce Knight. And summon Skull. Great, he's just gonna give one animal monsters. Your move. Okay, that was a really dumb move. Only, oh, I'm only down to half my life points. Your move, that you be. Code. Ah. I take Wabaku. I don't take any battle damage this turn. 
Wait. Can't be destroyed. Your opponent will never can be destroyed by. I was worth a shot though. Okay, sorry about the background noise. My bro my brother has a friend over, so please ignore that. Object, I said I'm on your feet. Stand your my turn. Alright, roll. Uh, this card will work it out. I just roll. Use this card. Summon skull. Now, it's time for you. Oh. I guess I need to skip my battle phase. Great. Ah. Curse of Dragon. I debate polymerization to fuse. To fusion summon Gaia the Fierce Knight with Curse of Dragon and Gaia the Fierce Knight. To fusion summon Gaia the Dragon Champion. Now that cocoon of evolution. I see he's doing only one thing defense mode. Okay. Next turn he's screwed. Ugh. It's time to end this duel. I attack with Gaia, the Dragon Champion. End this duel. It's over, I won. No, impossible. My mouth is unbeatable. And that was the ultimate gray mod. I thought this I had to split it into two parts, so. Join me next time as we take a look at the Harpy Ladies. Ladies. So have a good day, people. Bye.